So Bank of America economists released a report at the end of June stating that they believe the housing market is stuck until at least 2026, meaning the housing prices will continue to escalate and home shortages will persist while mortgage rates stay relatively stagnant. In other words, Bank of America is saying that we won't be seeing any relief in affordability either from pricing or from interest rates over the next two years. On a national level, home prices have increased by 6% year over year, but that hasn't been the case everywhere. In fact, most of the Sun Belt, which has been the driving force of the economy since the pandemic began, has seen prices stay relatively relatively flat with some modest declines due to continuous building to keep up with the new demand of residents moving to the south. And I would argue that this is a much healthier housing market here in the south than some other parts of the country are experiencing right now, where we're at least making attempts to keep up with the demand by adding new supply in the housing market. This brings us to the Dallas housing market, which like the rest of the Sun Belt, has not been seeing large gains over the last year as new builds compete with pre-existing inventory, putting downward pressure on home prices. Now before I continue, if you don't know me yet, my name's Corn, and I'm your local realtor here in Dallas. If you're looking to make a move anywhere in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex, I'd love to hear from you. And I'm here to help you seven days a week. So please reach out in whatever way works best for you and let me be your expert in all things real estate here in Dallas. And you can find all my contact information in the description below. So whether you want to text me, email me, give me a call, or schedule a one-on-one -on -one Zoom meeting with me, or whether you're looking to sell your home here in Dallas, you're a first-time home buyer looking to buy your first home here in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex, or you're relocating from out of state, or just need some advice and information before you decide what to do, I'm here to help. Now let's go ahead and get back to the Dallas housing market. I said last month that this remains a great time to sell if you're someone looking to capture your appreciation, and that still stands true today. But now, more than ever, we do seem to be at a potential turning point for the Dallas housing market. We saw a slight drop in the median priced home from May to June, which is not normal during the summer selling season, and it's a sign of more trouble to come. We also saw, probably more importantly, a pretty substantial drop off in closed listings from last month, being down almost 2,000 units from this time last year, and we're down over 1,000 units from just last month. Both of these trends are troubling because June is historically a hot time to sell homes here in Dallas. And instead, we're seeing the market cool down right in the middle of summer. And again, if these trends do continue or they worsen in our July data next month, I think it'll be time to call it that we will be in a buyer's market. New listings are also down slightly from last month and relatively even with June of 2023. Our days on market also ticked up two days from last month and we're now up eight days from last June. And the June data is revealing a weak market here in Dallas-Fort Worth, at least weaker than it has been. Whereas the May data was somewhat inconclusive with inventory spiking higher than normal, it seems that this flood of inventory from May is having a negative impact on the strength of the housing market this June. And once you couple that with the prolonged higher than expected interest rates, and we're beginning to see some softness in the market. And don't get me wrong, we're still very much in a wait and see game as we have been since the rates went up. But if I was someone that was looking to make a move soon, I'd want to liquidate now rather than waiting until later into the summer. Now, if you're someone who's looking to buy, it might also be a good time to find some deals with sellers becoming more desperate to sell before the summer's over. But you should brace for the potential for anywhere from a 3 to 10% decline in home values over the next year. I say that only out of an abundance of caution. I personally am mostly in agreement with Bank of America, and I do expect us to see fairly flat pricing growth here in Dallas over the next few years, but little to no decline in the pricing of pre-existing inventory. Now, the reason I say that is because of the lock-in effect that many existing homeowners have, who are not in a position to sell their home because it would mean rebuying a new home at a higher interest rate for many people. I also believe that a large number of the inventory we're getting out in the market today are not actually serious sellers. And let me explain what I mean by that. These are people who are listing their homes for 10% or more above the market, hoping to cash out for well above what their home's worth. These homes will sit stale in the market and they'll drive our total inventory up, but they were never really serious sellers to begin with. If you don't have a need or a true want to sell your home, meaning you will sell at the market rate to get your home sold, then you aren't a serious buyer. You're not actually interested in selling your home, you're just fishing to make a quick buck. Meaning you'll trade out a like kind house in your area for another one in the exact same area for a profit, but you're not going to do it at a cost yourself. To give you an example of what this might look like outside of the housing market, it would be like if I was to list my collectible Moto Guzzi motorcycle for sale for $5,000 more than its current market value. Just hoping that someone will come around and pay that price because, hey, why wouldn't I sell something for well over its current market value? I could turn around and buy another one if I want to, or I could just buy another collectible bike for a deal. Now these properties, more often than not, are not going to sell in the market. And that's why I say that these people aren't real sellers. They exist in every market, but I think now more than ever, inventory is expanding with sellers who are fishing for a quick profit on their home, but they aren't serious sellers. They're not going through a divorce and have to sell their home. They're not relocating and have to move. They don't have to upsize because they have more kids. 
things like that. Those are people who are actually serious sellers. And if they don't sell their home, it will negatively impact their life. So you see as a seller, if you're just looking to sell your home for a 50 or hundred thousand above what the market is so that you can turn around and buy another home in the same neighborhood for less than that, 50 to hundred thousand dollars less, you're not actually a serious seller. You're just trying to make a quick buck off of flipping your house. More power to you if you're able to pull that off. I'm sure some people are, but more often than not, those homes just sit on the market and then they end up expiring after six months and the seller never actually moves. Now, getting back to those of you who are thinking of buying in this market, I don't see this as being that bad of a time to buy because you do have options in this market and you can negotiate with serious sellers. If you plan to turn around and resell the home within the next year or so, I don't really think this is the best time to buy for you. And the reason I say that is because there is a good chance that in the next year, the Dallas housing market remains relatively flat and in worst case scenario, it ends up dropping in the short term. Now, if there was a correction that was going to occur, it wouldn't really impact you that much as a buyer if you do plan to hold for five, 10 or 15 years but you don't wanna be in a position if you have to sell in the next year or so with the potential downsides that could be coming in the near term. And you might be thinking, well, if there's a possibility that the housing market might decline in the next year, maybe I'll just wait and not buy. And there's some flaws to that logic because we never really know exactly where the housing market's gonna go and to assume that you know that it's going to drop could end up costing you a lot more money in the long run. So when it comes to where pricing goes next, I do believe that a big deciding factor is going to be what the Fed does with the rates. Now, if the Fed does end up holding out on any rate drops throughout the next year, I anticipate the market continuing to add more inventory and home sellers lowering their expectations as supply begins to outpace demand due to these elevated rates. However, if we do see a few rate cuts before next summer, and if the job market holds strong, I'd expect to see prices go up here in Dallas as demand re-enters the already low inventory market. Now, as you can see, there's one of two options. These things are actually impossible to predict. But what I can be fairly certain of right now is that home prices aren't going to be going up significantly over the next year. In fact, I'd anticipate that home prices remain relatively flat here in Dallas, with a small increase or decrease based on how the rates and our economy moves over the next year. And again, a lot of home building is still happening here in Dallas-Fort Worth, which is also having a major impact on why home prices aren't growing at the same rates that they are in other markets. This also presents some great opportunities for home buyers here in Dallas who are looking to buy new. As builders are always incentivizing buyers to buy homes, they're offering great rate buy-downs from permanent rate buy-downs to temporary ones. So if you're interested in getting into a new build, reach out to me and I'd be happy to show you your options throughout the Metroplex. There are plenty of builders that are currently offering rates in the mid to low fives. Now to really drive my point home on how new builds are impacting the housing pricing here in Dallas, I'm gonna go ahead and jump ahead for a second to our county data and you really see how these new builds are impacting pricing in the Metroplex as homes in Dallas County are up 4.6% year over year, which is a lot more in line with a 6% increase in home values nationwide. So if you own in Dallas County, you're probably doing pretty well right now. The big reason for this is that people who want to live closer to the city center don't have new build options to choose from the way that buyers in Collin County or Tarrant County do. So sellers of pre-existing homes have an easier time getting the prices that they're asking when they put their homes up on the market. Now you can also see that Denton County is also doing okay this year with a 1% gain year over year. Of course, a big part of this can also be attributed to Collin County being the least affordable county when it comes to home prices and smaller, more affordable housing is making a comeback with the current high rates. If you're in the market for a house in the 300s, don't expect as much softness in the market as there is for homes priced over the median, say over 400,000 and up from there. Now let's go ahead and shift gears and take a look at the year over year changes in the market going back 12 months. We're gonna be looking at June 2024 and June 2023 data here in the Dallas housing market. In the last year, total sales are down 5.4% to 109,008 homes sold with a volume down about $1 billion or 2.3%. Meanwhile, new listings are up 7.7% from this time last year with inventory also up quite a lot at 17.2% year over year. Our month supply is also up 28.6% to 3.6 months of supply. Our sales to new listings ratio is now at 65.18%, which is down 9% from the previous 12 months. All of these show that our market has continued to slow over the last year. Combine this with our knowledge of the market shift since May of this year, and we can pretty conclusively say that we're in a slowing and stagnated market here in Dallas with less home selling and inventory increasing. And with all that being said, I don't want you to think that this is a doom and gloom situation and that the sky is falling. I'm not a doomer, and I think you do have to really take into account the fact that we've been shifting out of the pandemic market. And a lot of this data is a return to normalcy more than it is any true indication of our market being weak. Now, if these trends do continue for another six months or a year, we could definitely find ourselves in a buyer's market by Christmas. A lot of this goes back to what happens to the rates. Now, if the rates stay at 7% indefinitely, or even for another year, I don't see how we don't shift into a buyer's market. And I even start seeing some pricing declines as more sellers adapt to the new reality on the ground. 
A lot of people are still hoping for some rate cuts over the course of the next year. And if rates do bring us down more around 5%, I do see us having a resurgence in buyer demand, more inventory shortage and pricing increases anywhere from 3 to 8% here in the Dallas housing market over the next year. And again, this does bring me back to why I think that buying now isn't as bad of an option as you might think it is. For example, let's say you're a first time home buyer, or you can eliminate your mortgage by moving into a smaller and more affordable property or to a different market, then this is a great time to be a buyer. The worst thing that you could do as someone who's ready and able to buy today is to hold off until you have millions of more buyers as competition when and if the rates do drop. That being said, this is one of the most unaffordable times to be buying a house, and if you have to take out a mortgage to buy, many people find themselves in a situation where it's just not feasible for them to be buying right now. Now, if you do have the ability to buy all or mostly cash, or you have a high income and you can afford the high mortgage rates currently, now is a great time to be buying because competition for inventory is currently low. And I have to say, based on all the data that I've seen, this inventory issue is going to continue for probably the rest of our lives. We just simply have too high of a population that's growing where we're not keeping up with the demand with new builds. Another strategy that you can employ as someone who's looking to buy now is to go ahead and take a look at those new built homes. There's builders offering rates in the fives for 30 year fixed rate mortgages, which can really make buying more affordable today than buying a pre-existing home. And if you are looking to make a move in this market and you wanna know all of the available incentives from different builders this month, feel free to reach out to me and I'd be happy to fill you in on the current incentives being offered and see if we can't find something that works for you today. Taking one more look at our county data from the month of June, we can see sales for Collin County were at 1,426, which is down 130 homes from this time last year, with new listings up to 2,325, and our inventory is up to an astounding 1,700 from this time last year. Month supply is also up to 3.7 months, with the median price down by $16,000 from this time last year, or down by 3.1%. Now, Collin County has really been getting hit hard as the least affordable market here in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. But Collin County is also a great place right now to find homes that are undervalued in the marketplace while the market's struggling. And honestly, it's a great place to live as well. So there is that. Now in Denton County, we have sales down just a few hundred units from this time last year, with new listings actually down as well from this time last year, which is the only county that this is the case. Inventory is up about 1,000 units from last year at 3,988, and month supply is up by one month to so 3.5 months. And the median price home in Denton County is up slightly by 1% from last year. Now, next up, we have Dallas County, which has been the real winner in this market. Sales are down nearly 500 units from this time last year, and new listings are up slightly by around 150 listings, with inventory up by 2,000 units. That being said, home prices in Dallas County are up 4.6% from this time last year, making it one of the few counties in Dallas-Fort Worth that have true growth in pricing. Finally, we have Tarrant County, which sales are currently down by about 300 units from this time last year, with new listings even from this time last year. As far as inventory goes, we're up by about 1,500 units from this time last year, with the median priced home in Tarrant County being down by 0.8%. Now, if you found this information useful, please consider subscribing to my channel for more content just like this. And if you're in the market to buy or sell here in Dallas-Fort Worth, as always, I'm here to help, so please reach out to me and let's get started today. I want to thank you again for watching, and if you got some more time on your hands right now, you can click or tap the screen above to watch another one of my videos.